Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Today is quite the day. I'm starting off by attempting to detangle this necklace. It's so cute. I showed it before. It's from Elo's Vintage, but... Or Go's Vintage? It's just tangled, and I haven't been able to wear it, but I really wanted to wear it with this outfit, and I don't think that's going to happen. Anyways, today is Monday. There's a lot of things happening. First off, first off, can't believe I've been able to hold my excitement so far in the 20 seconds on this vlog. Um, I am getting a new fridge. Okay, so as we know, I absolutely hate the fridge that came with this house. Honestly, one of my biggest regrets is not just immediately replacing that. Like, anyways, it's getting delivered today, so I'm really excited for that. Counter depth, not black, you know, it's gonna be beautiful. I ordered on Amazon some um, organization things as well which I'm really excited for. I also have people coming over to give me quotes on redoing my bathroom upstairs, the counters, the backsplash, and then another guy is coming over to give me another quote on hardwood. Other than that, of course, I have school and work and all of that stuff to do. I was like having my Mondays being productive. I love the start of a new week. Also, thank you so much to Code Academy for sponsoring today's vlog. I have always thought coding was so interesting. Code Academy is like such an amazing way to learn how. It is back to school season, guys, so it is a perfect time to pick up a new skill. It's also the perfect way to kind of optimize your time at home. Code Academy has innovative and super user-friendly coding courses. If I'm saying they're user-friendly, like they are user-friendly guys. I remember listening to a podcast with Carly Kloss like years ago. She actually learned how to code and does a bunch of stuff with it and I just thought it was so interesting and it is such a good tool to have for the workspace now. So Code Academy is the easiest platform to learn how to code on. There is a community of 45 million learners. They also have weekly goal setting, which I love, and then challenges. So that just makes your learning experience even more fun. You can also choose specific plans based off of the career path you want and like specific skills skills. Tech and coding skills are in very high demand in the job market as well. So this is like such an incredible thing to be able to learn. So obviously this year's back to school season is so different in comparison to what we're used to. And it's unique in that Code Academy has more resources than ever to help students. So this fall, Code Academy is showing support for the students and they are launching, they are launching its first ever membership for students. So students can now get full access to Code Academy's pro plan at a fraction of the price. This is really just an empowering program because it teaches you something that is so important for the workplace. I think it is the coolest thing ever. Um, Carly Kloss codes, so you guys can too. Um, I'm so interested in it, I think it is so <laughs> Whoa. So anyways, I will leave that link down below. You guys will really like it. I think it is so important. Girls in tech are bosses and also this is a very vital skill that is needed in the workplace. Utilize your time at home. Guys, it's back to school season. Let's get smarter. Let's try new things. I will have Code Academy down below. So Fitz is eating his breakfast right now and really causing some scenes for Coco. Coco, don't do that. Oh my gosh, we're teaching him how to eat all of his food in one sitting. He's actually very good at it. He's a great dog, guys. Tomorrow, Coco has surgery, so I'm a little bit stressed out. She has a bladder stone. Um, so, I have to drop her off at 7 a.m. tomorrow, and like, I am so nervous for this. All right, guys, so it is really hot out today. Here's my outfit. It's like a very basic summer outfit, nothing too special. These shorts are my favorite denim shorts from Topshop. I'll link them down below. I absolutely hate denim shorts normally, and these are like so comfortable. I actually feel like they're flattering, and I actually like wear them, and I like them. So, and they're really inexpensive, and they're normally on sale, so I'll have them linked down below. This is just a tank top from Misguided, and then I just have my white docks on. This bag is vintage, like Liz Claiborne. Didn't get the necklace untangled, but I am wearing these cute earrings from LA Fox. So I'm about to head out, pick up Q from his place. We're going to go to Starbucks, and then I need to go to Best Buy because I somehow have completely lost. I somehow have misplaced the charger for this camera, so I need to go get a new one. And then we come back, and we have to do the fridge stuff, which I am so excited for. I'm on my way. I feel like I look like a mom right now, but I am literally just so excited for today, everyone. I feel weird vlogging with sunglasses. Like, I never wear sunglasses. All right, guys, I'm back home. I got a... This is my new Starbucks order as of lately. It's really great. It's a healthy, like, ice dirty chai. But I've just been going through my fridge. I got rid of, like, literally this much food. Of Like, that was bad. It was disgusting. Um, hopefully, this will be the last shot you guys see of the fridge. But I did... Oh, my dad's calling me. I did get a charger. 
So the charger, oh, the charger that I bought, update, um, wrong charger, I guess, but it was advertised as the right charger. So I don't really know what's going on. We're gonna hopefully figure it out. But anyways, hopefully the fridge people will be here soon. They're like an hour late, but I think they're just like running behind on deliveries or something. So totally fine. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys a little haul of things that I just recently got from Revolve. So cute, so excited. So I got this House of Harlow dress that I just think is so beautiful and perfect right now for the weather. Just because it's so hot, it's really nice to have something that's so like breezy and airy, but still cute. Um, I think this is like such a beautiful dress with the best pattern. Next thing I have are these jeans. These are Girlfriend by LPA, like white denim pants. I thought they were cool. I would definitely wear them with something like heeled, I think. Um, they're high-waisted. They have a little like seam or pleat down at the middle and I think they're super cute. Then my favorite material, I was trying to wear the pants that I have in this material, but, oh, it's not them. But, um, didn't work out because I got oil all over them. <laughs> Whenever I, like, put bought oil on my body, I just, like, ruin the clothes I'm gonna wear. So, anyways, this is Song of Style. I got this dress in a size small. It's so, just, like, cute, fun. Just love this dress. Like, it's probably one of my favorite ones that I own. And I just absolutely love this fabric. Okay, I got this super cropped brown little sweater um i just thought this was super cute especially wear with jeans i'm just dreaming of a white christmas um and fall so okay i got this cute matching set so these are the bottoms right here cute little bottoms love that and then the matching top this is song style and i got both of these in a medium by the way um this is really cute just a nice little matching set. I thought this was fun. All right, sorry guys, we're on my phone. My camera died. I've been looking for this charger legit nonstop. I even went to the store, like we know. Okay, is this Majorelle? How do you pronounce this brand? I'm not sure. Just this cute little white sweater. I thought this was super fun. Love this look. Um, the sunglasses I was wearing earlier as well are from this haul. They're in my car, so I'm not gonna go grab them right now. But oh my gosh, guys, I think this swimsuit is so cute so i got this top these little sleeves so fun and then the bottom also has bottom is matching and then it has some ruffles which i just thought this is so fun it's so different from most of the swimsuits i have they're honestly like pretty simple basic a little bit boring um i have a lot of neon colors but i don't have these and then guys okay i'm afraid that i just got another pair of like my favorite denim this is Girlfriend by LPA, and I just don't think so. I'll have to try these on. I got them in a size 27. I'm all over the place with jean sizes, depending on the brand. I could be anywhere from like a 26 to a 30. I feel like I would say I'm a 27, 28, but you guys know how jeans go and sizing is just so tricky. Um, typically in like bottoms, I would get a medium though. Like I'm not super um, like, tiny they also sent some beauty products which i thought was cute so there's this chlorine shampooing like dry shampoo i love this kula refreshing water mist like i've just been spraying this non-stop wow it smells so good it smells like a pool in a good way then i have this thermal spring water that i haven't tried yet um, but what would I use this for? For sensitive skin. And this is just micellar lotion. Oh. It's and then some great aqua daily skin mask. I really like these sheet masks. I love sheet masks personally because you put them on, they're hydrating, and then you take it off and you can typically just like rub it into your skin. Um, and it's not as big of a mess as like doing like the big face mask, and you know, which I'll still do, but it's just more of a mess. So waiting for them to get here. Hopefully that will be soon. Oh wait, I got a pair of shoes. Hold on. These are from Ray. They are not typically what I would wear. Oh, sorry guys. They are just like a brown little cute sandal. This is not really working. I don't even have brown shoes, but I don't know. I just thought it was a good thing to have and I love Ray shoes. They're really great. Wow, it just looks like, wow. Hi guys, it's later. Um, obviously I'm out. My camera died and then I got a charger. That charger didn't work. And then I went to my sister's because I'm picking up her vlog camera and that's what we're gonna vlog with. And 
and she couldn't find her charger, so hopefully this stays alive, okay? The new charger comes tomorrow. Guys, just look how pretty. I just love Dallas so much. This camera is so like zoomed in. I forgot about this. Okay, it has been quite the day. Um, so many different things are happening in my house. I got a quote for hardwood again, which I think is happening soon throughout the entire house. And then um, I had to get something fixed, the new fridge, everything. So I'm gonna take you guys back home, give you guys an update. It was the night before Coco's surgery, so we're just prepping our gal. She's not allowed to eat past 10. All the neon gets turned out. Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't even do a full reel. Hold on, so sorry, okay. Well, everyone, the kitchen um, is not perfectly clean right now. I actually got home. The ugly, the fridge that we don't like, here it is. I listed on Facebook Market for free, and so I've gotten like 400 things. Also, he's not always on this. It's just, I just do it when he eats sometimes, and you, you can get out of this fit. So have fun, boy. Okay, so we'll put this back over here. Hopefully this mirror will be hung here very soon. How are you? He's so big now. Okay, guys, are you ready for this? Wow. Are you joking, guys? Like, guys, it is just so beautiful and so much better, and I have a contractor coming this week. Well, he's supposed to come today. He didn't show, but to do new backsplash, which I already have picked out, and then counters. It's really exciting, but this fridge, I'll just give you a little fridge tour, everyone. Wow. Wow, so it's not organized how I want it to be yet. My organization actually just came in the mail. Well, actually, no it didn't. This is just a little bit. I have um, organizers for my beat, for my booch pop coming as well. So this isn't everything. I'll have it linked down below on Amazon. Um, this is just like part of the package that came today. I just have sauces right here, random stuff, norm, like meal prep, um, leftovers, all of that. Um, I actually think I'm gonna put this up here. Dun, 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 dun. Right here. Here we go. I don't know. I have this like good sort of Kensington. Like this is like a nice sauce that doesn't fit here and will only fit on here. And we have the freezer. So it is just beautiful. I love this fridge size so much more because. It, well, not the size. Obviously, the size actually fits, so I like it better, and it just looks so much more beautiful in my kitchen. But I really like how, why am I forgetting it? French doors, whatever, how it's not flip-flopped, because I don't use a freezer as much, so I like, I'm a visual person, okay? I want to be able to see everything. So that has been really quite the game changer in the past six hours of owning this fridge. So beautiful. Love, love, love. Um, ooh, I haven't even tried this. Oh, it works. Okay, well. I also have black hardware. A lot of you guys have commented about getting hardware on the counters. I've had hardware ready. I just needed to get it like actually installed. So that's one thing. Um, but yeah, I'm actually gonna organize a little bit more. Also, Queen Dolly, here she is, everyone. Where should I put her in this house? Like, I really just need some good ideas. What do you guys think? So this is looking quite nice if you do, if I do say so myself. Fitz is fully going wild. Uh, how you doing, bud? He just went on a long walk too. You are so cute and handsome. Yes, you are. Update, I changed this up a little bit. I don't even know if anyone cares about this, but it's just exciting to me. Um, so this is more like cooking stuff, lemon juice, whatever, lime juice. And then this is more, well, there's still butter because I don't think there's more room in here. Maybe there actually is. Oh, there's definitely more room. Okay, so all the butter's up here. This is kind of just sauces. This, I guess, needs to go back here, but 
We got some sauces, we have some salad dressings, vegan ranch, things like that. Sweet baby rays, God bless. And then here we have like more cooking stuff. I'm being ignorant, kind of miscellaneous. Uh, the rest of it is pretty much the same. I added some coconut water and shots there and then pizza sauce up there. I just don't know what I should do to organize. There's cheese here, which I think is kind of unnecessary. I never have that much cheese. And then I just have, oh yeah, I have salmon here. Which is great, but I don't know guys ignore fits just going wild in the background guys This is what I mean with crate training dogs and stuff They just love their crates like the doors are just open and Coco's just there sitting in her crate for fun Okay, also Everyone's always like Coco's crate is way too small. That just simply isn't true I think you guys just don't realize that she's actually five pounds in person. That is the like vet exact size That is like the size that's recommended from the vet and the dog trainer and that is like her actual size I think you guys just forget how small she is and it's not as small as it looks on camera It's just because it's next to that big crate. What do you think this is Fitz? Huh? Fitz look Look at you Look at you, you're so cute. Yes, you are. Aww. Guys, he's so big now, I really just cannot get over it. I cannot believe how big, oh, okay, thank you. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are so cute. You are so cute. So again, everyone, I'm so sorry if you are not intrigued by my fridge content, but it has just really, like I know this sounds so dramatic and also this has not been moved all the way over and I still need to, you know, whatever, who cares. I know this sounds kind of dramatic, but it really does feel like a completely different home. Like I cannot stress that enough. I think gonna make some bedtime tea. I've really been having a hard time sleeping lately. I'm just wide awake at night and it's really annoying. So I'm gonna try this tea. I'm about to do some reading and I actually want to talk to you guys about a book, but um, I know surprise surprise my Billy subscription came in. I, I don't work with them. Would love to work with you Billy, but my favorite razor love also my I think fourth or fifth um, Lux unfiltered self tanner. I'm so excited because Savon Ayla who owns this is coming out with the face self tanner for this, but this is my favorite one It's a gradual tanner it stays off your white clothes, it moisturizes, it blurs out your skin, like this is just the best product I've ever used in my entire life. Um, I am in bed now, it's only like 8.30, I go to bed so early. I like try to go to bed early and I was actually FaceTiming TK tonight and I, she was going home and I'm like, oh my gosh, like there is nothing like going to bed at 7 p.m. on a Monday night, like it's just absolutely incredible. I stayed up last night, um, all night, and read. I read Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover last night. I think I'm gonna have this with the authors because I just have read three Colleen Hoover books in a row, but I don't want to. Anyways, I just wanted to talk to you guys about a book I recently read. Um, I know this might sound annoying because it's about the Enneagram, but honestly, it was so helpful for me. I'm gonna pull it up. I read mine and I read Q's actually. The Enneagram Collection by Beth McCord. So that's mine, I'm a type three. And it really, really helped me. Like even to the point where like my therapist will tell me I have problems or like will be like, do you think that you feel this way? Or do you think that you this or whatever? And I'm like, no, I don't think so. And I read this book this weekend and I literally like cried. <laughs> like it was so stupid, but I have expressed so much how I just haven't been feeling like my absolute best lately. It's been really hard for me and I just like mental health wise have not been doing the best and I feel like I'm really coming out of it and I am getting better. But I've also realized like there's different levels of, okay, so like basically if you guys don't know the Enneagram is a personality test, but this one is a little bit like faith based and personality test the book is. Um, and it showed me like who I am at different levels, which is so accurate. Like actually, let me just see if I can pull it up for you guys. Okay, so I'll just share a few things. So I'm actually just in the worst place for lighting that I could be in this entire room. My core fear is being exposed as or thought of incompetent, inefficient, or worthless, falling, failing to be or appear successful. So, and I think more than anything for me, like I just don't want to waste my life. So. My core desire is having high status and respect, being admired, successful, and valuable. I don't actually think really high status, but I think 
more than anything being valuable. Coco, what are you chewing on, girl? My core weakness is deceit. So deceiving yourselves into believing you are the only... You are only the image you present to others. Embellishing the truth by putting on a polished persona for everyone, including yourself, to see and admire. So I think I'm very good at this, like to the point where it's scary. And also, it's so confusing when I do that because I think in turn, I actually fool myself and I don't realize like how I'm feeling. Does that make sense? I'll to put the flashlight on my face and just see if this... Ooh, that's much better. And then core longing will be you are loved for simply being you. And then at the end of each chapter, they give you like three questions to go through to go deeper. The more I struggle, the more the compulsion to create this like I'm doing great thing kind of happens. What's really helpful with this, the reason I'm bringing this up is they're using this as like a rumble strip. So it's when you see your core weakness surfacing, think of it as a rumble strip. So it's kind of alerting you that you're about to veer off course, which I have veered the frick off course. So it's helpful because I'm able to like realize like where I am and need, I'm able to like realize where I'm at and make sure that I'm like not getting there. Does that make sense? Okay, so how I typically communicate as a type three. When I'm doing well, I'm clear, straightforward, confident, motivated, efficient, focused on solutions and encouraging. When I'm not doing well, I can be self-promoting, impatient with emotional or lengthy conversations, angry or short when frustrated, and not willing to fully disclose what's really going on inside. The last part is 100% true. So even that is like, not, I'm, I'm actually gonna make this an Instagram story because so because I've just been so all over the place and feeling like, just not myself at all and like I literally am so emotional I cry probably every day and I don't even know why like multiple times a day and I'm not really a crier like I just get so emotional over everything and like someone can like look at me wrong and I like cry and I just don't understand so I'm just really trying to kind of get ahead of this and also just like better myself and just like even understand myself more and how I operate not to say that the Enneagram is end-all be-all, but this book has genuinely like really, really, really helped me. There are things that like I have probably resisted as a problem in my life for so long that are 100% true. And it has been so, so helpful. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Coco is, oh, it's the night before her surgery. I'm actually really upset. Thank you for that, girl. I'm actually really upset. Um, I'm afraid I'm gonna cry when I drop her off, which I probably will, because she has to stay at the hospital overnight and I know she's gonna be so sad and I'm just like really not looking forward to it and I'm very sad about it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know it was kind of all over the place, lots of house updates, the Enneagram thing, figuring the stuff out. I think I'm gonna make an entire video on like anxiety and depression soon, but I feel like maybe it would be better if I'm feeling like 100% myself when I make that video and I'm like on the up and up, you know what I mean? But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, let me know by giving this a thumbs up. Check out Code Academy. I will link them down below. It is the perfect thing to do for this time. It is a perfect thing for you guys to be doing right now. It is back to school season. They have a new student plan where you guys can get a discount for their pro program. So link down below. Love you guys so much. Hope you guys... Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.